Hello everyone, Nello from MaxSpeedMotorsports.com here. Uh, I want to talk about the uh, version 6 uh, camera systems that we now offer. And um, as per the description on our website, the uh, version 6 cameras, uh, both the back and the front, regardless of which model you choose, even in license plate version, uh, they have a 145 degree wide angle. Uh, so as far as uh, real estate on the image, you get far more uh, image uh, than our previous camera. And in addition to that, uh, the cameras themselves, the actual angle of the camera, so uh, it is now sitting at uh, 60 degrees versus 85 degrees on our previous camera. So in other words, if you think of 85 degrees would be this way, and now we have 60 degrees. So our camera lens uh, will, it sits now a little higher, uh, even though it's in the same position on the bumper, and um, sits a little higher so we get more, less of the floor, for example. Uh, so why did we do that uh, as far as uh, changes? It's uh, pretty much customer feedback. You know, uh, customers getting back to us sometimes and saying, hey, I wish the, the angle of the camera uh, was less, uh, pointing on the floor and, and pointing more upwards, uh, stuff like that. And, and some of them would actually uh, suggest that we have a wider angle and stuff like that. So um, we did follow up and make the improvements. Now, um, I, I must say in my camera here, in the camera system I have, I have the front and backup camera. So basically uh, when I switch to drive, I get the front image. If you only install the backup camera, of course you will not get a front image uh, what's going to happen is when you put it to drive you still see the uh, rear view image until you hit 10 miles per hour and it goes away now uh, the other thing in my case uh, when i installed the front camera on the front bumper i did install some grills as well and i cannot put the camera in front of the grill it's not possible uh, it's not possible physically i mean it won't even fit there so i have to fit the camera behind the grill so that, uh, that being said, uh, when I um, use my front camera, you see an ugly grill in front. So please disregard the image. You see the grill. However, in my case, I still get to see my obstacles in the front. So let's start by um, showing you the um, uh, camera itself, uh, the uh, rear view camera, the wide angle. And uh, another thing you will notice is that the camera sits underneath the bun bumper of course in the rear and it's not flush to the bumper so basically what happens is is that because it's a wide angle um, the camera does grab some of the bumper and license plate as well that's how the wide angle is however uh, for those of you who don't want to see any bits of the bumper you're gonna have to mount the camera flush I'll show you guys uh, when we step outside so let me hit the reverse so as you can see, um, it is a wide angle. And uh, as I mentioned, you have the camera here, it picks up the camera. I might have to adjust the camera a little to have like 50-50, uh, mine's a little, I just installed this camera, so I just gotta turn it a bit to get a perfect image centered. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty much a wide angle and it grabs a lot of real estate. Um, and this camera here, uh, we have the moving guidelines. And uh, we now offer on version six, um, moving guidelines, fixed guidelines, or no guidelines at all. So you can uh, pretty much um, leave a message when you check out for which camera you want. So uh, yeah, so as you, uh, as we back up, uh, these white lines will follow the steering. And this is not as accurate as a CAN bus uh, signal system where the uh, camera will get the um, the uh, signal from the steering wheel so it's pretty accurate on factory OEM systems in this case the uh, sensors is built into the camera so you know as soon as the, the, the camera senses movement it, it will move the guidelines uh, there is somewhat a little bit of lag but nothing crazy I mean I can live with that and I, I like the feature it's pretty cool um, so yeah so let's say we back up as soon as I start turning the steering, the guidelines will follow. And as you can see, now I'm gonna let go. And one, two seconds, boom, they're back straight again. 
and uh, I'd like to mention as well we have the green yellow and red uh, you know before you even get into the red while you're backing up uh, you know step outside and, and measure uh, measure how much space you have when you hit the green the yellow and the red so that way uh, you get acquainted with your camera in my case when I hit the red I have about a foot left let's say three quarters or a foot left not more than that so I know when I hit the red I must stop now um, when I go up front when I put it on drive I mean I'll get my front camera as you can see and it's got the grill as I spoke about and the same thing here when I hit the red like there's a cement stopper in front of me when I hit the red that means I got to stop because I'm about a foot away there you go so I'm very close and as you can see the cement stopper here is hitting the red line so I'm pretty good there. so uh, yeah uh, the other thing is um, I spoke about different types of cameras like moving guidelines fixed guidelines so if you were to choose the the camera with moving guidelines this is what you get if you choose the camera with fixed guidelines this is what you get and you can also uh, have the camera system with no guidelines at all so as I mentioned before this system works like a factory system so if I were to go to uh, push the car button options uh, set car set rear view camera uh, you can disable the camera by pushing this button um, this one is irrelevant you cannot remove the grid lines and here you have the uh, rear view camera picture uh, parameters so you can pretty much uh, adjust bright brightness contrast and color um, let's go back and you can show the uh, image as well by clicking here in my case it's going to show the front view camera all right because uh, that's the way i set it up with both cameras so i will uh, go back now and i want to show you how this camera works like when i see it works like the factory system so if i were to back up all right my camera comes on and now i put on drive it's going to the image will go away after 10 miles per hour there you go just like a factory system so that's pretty cool so uh, let me step outside and show you guys the way the uh, cameras are installed and uh, you will understand what I meant before about the uh, wide angle how to mount the camera not to catch any of the bumper all right guys so as I mentioned before um, so as you can see the rear view camera here uh, on my car uh, because I had previously installed a different version of the camera, I remounted the camera at the same place. But we do have a wide angle now, so what happens is, is that because of the wide angle, uh, the camera does capture, you know, uh, the bumper and surroundings. So as you can see here, I'm not flush uh, with the camera. I'm a little more back. If you want to avoid um, catching, you know, the bumper, uh, you, you may want to mount it flush. All right. However, um, I don't like the flush look, to be honest. Uh, I prefer the camera being a little backwards, so it's a little hidden. Uh, however, it's not a big deal. If you put a flush, you'll get a better image. Um, so yes, uh, if you do install the license plate version, well, um, there is no adjustment there. However, um, you might still get a bit of the bumper. However, the whole point here is to get a, a quite a, a lot of real estate when it comes to the image so that you clearly see all the obstacles as far as the front one goes in my case uh, I have I do have some grills installed and it was impossible for me to install the uh, camera let's say right over here impossible so what I did I had to mount the camera behind the grill so let's see if I can get a clear image here as you can see here the camera is behind the grill so I had no choice and depending on the bumper you have of course you know a 90 led this is a GTS so it's got a different bumper uh, you know mount yeah so mounting the camera on the front bumper will be uh, challenging uh, whether you have a 911 a boxer it came in uh, different types of bumper and stuff so what you want to do is get the best position um and of course this will most probably not most probably but for sure require bumper removal and as far as installation goes uh you know a lot of people sometimes uh is like hey you know what do i do for the front well when it comes to the front like i said uh you decide where to mount the camera there's not really uh of course the best place in the center of the bumper in my case i couldn't because of my uh, uh radar uh, sitting right there for the um uh, adaptive cruise control so I had to put it offset to the uh, driver's side 
I chose the driver's side. But uh, when it comes to the front bumper, even routing the cable and getting through the firewall could be very challenging. You're gonna have to use your imagination. And what's important here is to uh, hook up the camera and bring that cable all the way to the front through the firewall. And again, that's a little challenging. There's not really a proper way of doing it. It's, um, you know, um, pretty much getting through that wall. So um, that sums it up about our new cameras. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can email us at sales at maxspeed-motorsports.com or send us a text message 305-308-2009. I will do my best to answer as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching.